and welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management and the management of brand business. It is a 30-minute pot period of brand news, brand in focus, industry conversation, all in the mix aimed at promoting the brand idea. My name is Dili Agaduma. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a hub of TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brand, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with Glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Welcome to Brand News on Marketing Edge on TV. MasterCard has partnered with NMI and Global Payments Incorporated to launch its first cloud point of sale acceptance technology. MasterCard and its partners are doing this to help businesses accept contactless payments using just an Android smartphone or tablet through its Tap on Phone technology. Tap on Phone assists businesses of all sizes to deliver new and best in class contactless consumer experiences using their smartphone. The technology democratizes point-of-sale technology by turning an Android smartphone or tablet into an acceptance device, allowing businesses to accept contactless payments while minimizing the need to invest in hardware terminals or extra features. Having achieved its goal of transitioning its U.S. direct operations to 100% renewable electricity in the year 2020, PepsiCo has announced its plans to intensify its efforts to actualize its aim of reducing greenhouse gas emissions across its value chain by more than 40% by 2030 and its commitment to achieve net to zero emissions 10 years ahead of deadline. With 12 countries in its Europe sector already utilizing 100% renewable electricity, the giant FMCG noted that specifically PepsiCo plans to reduce absolute GHG emissions across its direct operations by 75% and its indirect value chain in scope 3 by 40% in 2030. Nigeria's electronics market is set to benefit from LG's electronic partnership with Google on Game World through Stadia. The partnership is set to bring Stadia to its latest WebOS smart TVs in the second half of 2021. Going by the partnership, LG will be the first TV manufacturer to natively support Stadia gameplay via WebOS. The move is set to demonstrate part of LG commitment to supporting premium gaming on its state-of-the-art displays made even more compelling with support from 4K and 5.1 surround sound for Stadia Pro users. According to LG, Stadia on LG TVs will allow customers to instantly play hit Stadia games such as Cyberpunk 2077, NBA 2K21, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla and Watch Dogs, Legion was just a Stadia controller and no additional hardware or game downloads required. Ad Age announced the deadline for the Ad Age Creativity Award for the year 2021. The deadline for all categories will be on 2nd of March 2021. The announcement reads, the coveted Ad Age A-list and Creativity Awards are now open for entries. In recognition of an anything but typical year, the entry period has been shifted and deadlines for all categories are now the same, with a final deadline of March 2, 2021. A-list honorees will be named in different categories from Agency of the Year and A-list Media Agency of the Year, Multicultural Agency of the Year, International Agency of the Year, Creativity Agency of the Year, 
In-House Agency of the Year, Data Analytics Agency of the Year, Design Agency of the Year, Agency Executive of the Year to Brand CMO of the Year. And that was brand news on Marketing Edge on TV. While the city slept, we installed a board in the middle of a park with something special hidden inside. We wondered if people would notice. They didn't, so we invited Nigerians to add their paws to the scene whichever way they chose to. Some literally added their own paws. Some sang, others rapped, and even recited poetry. As they added their paws, the board came alive. Hidden figures broke free from obscurity, inspired by the crowd expressing themselves. You know you can do anything. Because why blend in when you can stand out? TN Pulse, do you? Dow Star 406 hash to join. Hey, welcome to Branding Focus on Marketing Edge on TV. With the dawn of 2021, there is a palpable anxiety in the minds of the people, especially the rampaging impact of COVID 19 pandemic, which has mutated to a very deadly variant. The chaos and confusion the pandemic has created has left advertisers and brand owners in a state of deja vu and competitive complications. While consumers continue to struggle with low purchasing power and the impending fear of lockdown in the face of a raging recession, brand owners appear helpless in charting the right course for achieving requisite bottom lines and market profitability. It goes without saying that this period calls for a critical review of strategies by brands in terms of value addition and product offerings. It needs to be stated that brands need to prioritize their strategies in a way that enables them to understand who their audiences are and how to segment and put in place the right communications on brand purpose, essence, and promise. For companies and their marketing organizations, Strategic partnerships are key to helping them increase their agility as those partnerships are going to look different in 2021 and beyond. In a world where e-commerce is simply the new commerce, the delivery services are becoming table sticks. These are the types of future-focused partnerships that can be activated, provided businesses can evaluate and understand customer needs in an actionable, geographically specific way. Amid the rush for vaccines approval, marketers and their organizations should also do a lot of soul searching. As recent research has underscored, people are increasingly looking for the brands that they support to stand for something more than their bottom lines. In fact, consumers are up to six times more likely to purchase from and champion brands that are purpose-driven. That means that in addition to understanding who a brand's customer is from a democratic perspective, brands must also know them on a value-driven level. What motivates them? What causes do they support? And how do they expect the brands they buy to reflect and respond to the issues they consider dear? Therefore, delivering on consumers' desire to support Purpose-driven brands requires an integrated product development and marketing approach. Again, marketers need to tap into data and consumer insights when deciding which experiences are most likely to resonate with their consumers. In the current social climate, video viewing on platforms like YouTube and video conferencing activity has surged in the pandemic, and there lies an opportunity for brands. While brands will need to be able to adapt, whatever their current situation is, building connections and trust through goodwill will be the key to sustainable, innovative marketing now and in the future. And that was Branding Focus on Marketing Edge on TV.
Dear customer, link your Airtel number to your national identification number today. Here are easy ways you can do it. Dial star 121 star 1 hash on your Airtel line and follow the prompts on the screen. Type in your 11-digit government-approved NIN number. You will receive a confirmation message to confirm your entry. You can also visit www.airtel.com.ng forward slash NIN to link your phone number to your NIN. If you do not know your NIN, simply dial star 346 hash to get it. No stress, no wahala. Airtel, the smartphone network. All right, then, so uh, what would you say is the new normal in media advertising right now in view of the pandemic? How would you describe it? Yeah, I think the new normal for us is the fact that, like I said before, we need to full deployment of technology. Mm -hmm. If you are in this industry and you are not big enough to that, I think it's a major minus. Because even clients are kind of like, they are, they are, they are, they are trying to raise the tempo right now. So even for mm -hmm. you as, a, as, a, as an agency, you must be up and do mm -hmm. to be able to meet the interview. And what has equally shown to us is the fact that you can't take your ideas for granted. Mm -hmm. These are people who are energetic, who are dynamic, Wow. Yeah. And that's what, no, that's what many of the multinationals say in this country to say, hey, with the population of 200 million people, they're not going to be eating mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. They need service. And in general, these are people who are not laid back. They are active, they are dynamic. It's only in Nigeria that can you see somebody who has a dollar, but is happy, is mm -hmm. smiling, is they carry on that seat because he has the hope that tomorrow is going to be better. So mm -hmm. that resilience is something that brands need to tap into and use to advantage. We've not engaged them enough. A whole lot more can still be done, actually still be done. All right, it's still industry conversation on marketing edge on TV. So how would you say uh, MIPAN members have adjusted to the new normal as regards the pandemic? Would you say they are um, taking advantage of the new normal? Are they doing what they should be doing to make business better or to make um, their jobs easier? Yeah, well, I think to a large extent, uh, yes, because in terms of advice to clients, they are up and doing, trying to live up to the new building. And a couple of them have actually ramped up by ensuring that they have the technological backend to be able to meet clients' demand during okay. this uh, pandemic build. And a couple of them, too, because of the kind of like cross fertilization of ideas that we normally mm -hmm. have rubbing up on each other. But I think a whole lot more can still be done in that uh, respect. Okay. I mean, the, the, the language of the global business world is collaboration. So, and I think the earlier we get together and collaborate more, the better for us. We all cannot have the same strength. While some are weak, some are strong. Mm -hmm. And the area of strength and weaknesses are things that we should tap mm -hmm. so that it rub off fairly well okay. across all members. But of course, whoever you want to carry, most they call it demonstrate the willingness to be carried. To be carried so yes. that's another thing. I think they need to, 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 they need to come up to speed and be ready to, and it's no shame. If you think somebody is doing better, like nothing says, as a member, mm -hmm. we can cross that, we can reach out to each mm -hmm. other here, I need support in this area. And that's the only sense of the association, and that's the only way for us to collaborate and grow. Once the industry goes, it becomes easy and it looks better for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. But I think to a large extent, we've mm -hmm. done fairly well, but there is room for improvement. So what would, you, what would you say they are doing wrong? Is there anything they are doing wrong? I know you said something was mild, but you said, you know, some may not want to reach out um, no. if you're not doing well. So aside from that, is there any other thing you think they are doing wrong? Well, I think so far so good. We need to exchange ideas. People should just be able to open up when they need assistance. And I think that's one, and that's the only sense of uh, the collaboration. So how would you describe uh, Nigeria media operators' uh, response to, uh, you know, compared to what obtains in the other uh, markets across the globe? Oh, yeah, I think I must confess that for the Nigerian media operators, their response has not been particularly too good. Okay. And I'll say that because one of the key strengths of media is, is the content. Mm. People, everybody in Nigeria, like we said, they are energetic, they are adventurous people. Yes. They are always restless. Mm. Give them meetings, they embrace you. If you still continue to do the old, they move on. And we saw mm. it clearly during that period. Virtually all the stations, we have found one thing yes. in the area of content. Yes. The eyeballs we've ever been looking for was get seated at home, nowhere to go. And when we did not give them what they want, what happened? They move over Fast. to Netflix, mm -hmm. YouTube, mm. and willing to go the extra mile to spend money yes. to be able to. That means you can't stop them. Mm. You won't see because their economic power is low. If they have what they want, even if they need to go on hunger strike to achieve it, they will. 
And that was what happened. They abandoned all the local TV and moved on to Netflix. And we could see this shit cheap. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the compelling things that forced us to partner with one of the stations to come up with a content that kind of like helped in drawing them back. And when we came up with the concept of Turn Up Friday, and mm -hmm. one best started is sponsored okay. by Indomie. Okay. That helped draw the other. And you could see the response. Mm -hmm. It was like, this is what we've been waiting for. Even, I'm sure, even the DSTV guy would have been shocked to see the kind of response it generated. The more importantly is the level of engagement, where you have people dressing up at home as if they are going to a party. The party that I could have gone to, you are bringing me to me in my comfort of my home. And that thing, the impact of that program on the mental well-being of people, you can only imagine. The response the brand got, that is a futuristic brand. That is a brand that says, so in addition to me meeting your, your, your need for food, mm -hmm. I equally meet your social need. I call it need your health need. I call it, and that's what the audience are looking for. Yes. When you talk of a brand meeting, uh, meeting consumers' needs, it's just one need. So one might be primary, then a couple of other associated needs. And if they're able to fulfill all, the next question the, the, the consumers will be asking me whenever you ask them to jump is how high, how high? not why. <laughs> and that's where brand needs to get into connecting emotionally with them. So now, how would you assess uh, the current needs among media owners over some clients' preference and uh, agitation for 120 days payment, uh, payment circle after a job and CO2 delivery? Because that has been a major issue. Well, it's a, it's a major concern to, to, to everybody, mm -hmm. even for some of the clients who they're a bit worried. Because, okay. of course, you, you, you give, you've gotten approval for mm -hmm. a particular budget to be spent. If yes. it's not well accounted for a retired, it could mm -hmm. be a problem. So mm -hmm. it's really something for some clients is of concern to them. But equally, we need to address the fundamental issue. What's leading to all of this is the issue mm -hmm. of trust. Okay. To say, hey, I've given you 100 spots to run. Have you delivered 100 spots? Mm -hmm. And I think that's one area where the media owners need to put us together to see how they provide foolproof um, 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 uh, evidence okay. to a client that is unquestionable. Okay. I like what a couple of them have done in terms of digital investment, being able to capture. But beyond the digital investment, it's equally the need for us to see how we focus on the third party monitoring. Because of course, if I give you a job and you come back to me to say, hey, you don't want, out of the 100 spots you're giving me, I've done 120. What do I expect you to see? Mm. But the industry has gone to a level where we need the top party to certify that the 120 you promised me above the 100 I've requested for mm -hmm. it they've actually been delivered. Okay. Not only deliver, but deliver where, when, mm. and how. How? I want them done. Mm. If that has been the case, clients are willing and ready to pay. I think mm. that's one area where we need to quickly address to say, okay. hey, how do we get the media monitoring right? And that calls for some level of investment too. And it's a simple process to say, hey, can we have a situation where we hold it the current system that we have? If it's meaning up to international standard, mm -hmm. fine. If it's not, what can we do to support them? If okay. we support them, that equally will bring back to what I said earlier about being underreported. Because mm -hmm. where everything we do is well captured, we can prove to the world that, look, when you talk of media investment in this country, this is what we've been able to We have facts and figure to back it up. Because, of course, when we talk about being matching up to develop for the developed market, mm -hmm. you're not able to this there and put a finger into your mouth and say, honestly, you must be able to provide empirical proof that they can see and they can verify. And that's where we need to focus. And once that is done, most clients will be glad, will gladly pay for services delivered. Because really, when clients fail to pay, fail to pay for those services that have been delivered to them. They're starting to, yeah, actually, they are doing themselves into because mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure of any client who has the intention or plan to set up a media house, meaning they will need the media one way or the other. Yes. So it is actually even the client is fed to support and grow, but must be done at a situation where they are sure that they are getting value for what they are paying mm -hmm. for. Okay, so what has NIPAM been able to do to address the issue of rising debt in the, in the um, industry right now? Yeah, I think to a large extent, we've actually encouraged our members. First is don't say because of the pressure on you to get in clients. Be sure of the clients you are signing on. Okay. That they are credible, they are reputable, and they've got integrity okay. as one of their media cardinal focus. I think that mm. is key. Because only when you have credible clients, but if your client is fly by night, in no time, even you skip flying by the day. Mm. That's the other street because we, don't, we do everything in media. We don't manufacture money. Okay. So your client must pay you to be able to pay. So you must be able to assess your client to make sure that they are credible, they are reputable, and they've got, don't say because you are eager for job, you just take on anything. And to a large extent, too, we will call it set up a committee that will be in charge of debt recovery. Okay. Where if you have any case or maybe client not pay you or media being hold by an agency, mm -hmm. you can report to. And the case will be objectively looked into to know where the problem is.
lies so that we can jointly put things together to see how we address it. We think it's where some clients are hoping, not necessarily because uh, they, are, I mean, they want to hope, but the client price has not paid them. And when we reach out to some clients to say, hey, is it true that you are winning this much? The best you can do for anybody that is weighing you is one, for the person to admit, then two, to give you a payment plan. Mm. I think that's reassuring. Mm. So I think to a large extent, Nippon as a body has been able to come to the rescue of some agencies mm. and some media owners in that respect. And we are willing to do more okay. because it's really quite a major problem for the industry. And the federal government has, has plans to establish um, an audit measurement policy. What would you say um, concerning that? What's your view on it? Do you think it's going to yield positive results? Or it's just, they'll just be fishing in water? Well, I think that would be a, that would be a good development, a, 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 a commendable one at that, if okay. only they can follow it through. Mm. Because some of these policies tend to rest only on paper. The mm. next generation of privacy system don't drop in there. But more importantly is that even for government, they by now ought to realize the importance of advertising and more importantly marketing, marketing. in the scheme of things. Mm. I think to a large extent, ever before the last presidential campaign, we see how they were able to use marketing communication tools to advantage in terms of adverts, in terms of PR, in terms of activation. So that shows clearly what marketing can do. Like mm. I personally would refer to marketing as one sector that keeps many sectors of the economy growing. Mm -hmm. So that sector needs to be well planned. That's definitely, we need to put structure into it. We need to put policy that will enable that sector to grow rather than that will kill it. And support coming from government in that respect will be very good because really mm -hmm. the contribution of marketing to the GDP is something really commendable, even if they realize it. But I think that realization is coming to the fore right now because the ability to reach out to these people, you need marketing. Exactly. Whether mm -hmm. you have policy to say, whether you have a message to pass across, you need this thing. Not The news cannot do it alone anymore. Mm -hmm. The marketing experts are those who understand the language of the consumer and to speak to them the way they will react the way you want them. So whatever you have to package, they can package it okay. right for you. But they can only do that if they are well enabled, if mm -hmm. they are well empowered. Mm -hmm. And that's a good development. It is for now, people well, the truth. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the um, total media advertising uh, billing of all registered uh, media agencies under MIPAN. How would you assess it? And also, what do you think registered agencies should be billing uh, if, if they were not, if not for the pandemic? Yeah, well, I think the, before now, the spend has actually been going. We, we, we witnessed a, a lot, really. I think it down for which of course we did less than 100 billion. But the average, I think, will be trading at 100 million and above. And like I said, this is not 100 reported mm. because we actually do far beyond that. But let's even leave the figure as it is. But I think it's not a bad thing. I think our concern should be where are we focusing? We okay. found out that the, the spend seems to be tilted more in, the fav in favor of television. Mm -hmm. rather than the likes of, and radio pretty much is a mass medium, it's not too mm -hmm. expensive anyway, mm -hmm. but the likes of press and outdoor. And the pandemic has further brought to, that to bear, because when people are seated at home, what are you doing on outdoor? So mm -hmm. we are likely to, or even the TV, who ought to be able to announce more? Mm -hmm. uh, there was no content. Mm -hmm. So really, you can see a situation where we are most likely to witness further the thank, thanks to those brands that were able to put their leg on the better and see kept the, the sector going. And I dare say, even with the ease of the pandemic, many of the brands actually woke up with their responsibility. We can see a whole lot of BI of activity coming up in this December. But I dare say, we lost the media opportunity with that pandemic. For many brands who stayed up, it was really a media because the eyeballs you are looking for were there, waiting to be tapped. But we let it fizzle really away. But those who are, who, are, who are bold enough to take it by the ball and still run around with it, I think they have a whole lot to show for it right now. Because what you probably would have spent 100 naira to achieve, you probably spent less. Yes. And you find out that your top of mind awareness, your, 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 your top of mind awareness will be enhanced because the hair wave is free. Mm -hmm. So rather than a station where you have about 10 spots running, you only have about two or three. The message seems better. Mm -hmm. People are seated at home. But content was not. But on the whole, it's going to get better. I think most brands have realized they need that look. This is something to focus on, and they're, 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 it's, going to, it's going to get better as we go along. Mm. Now, what would you say is uh, what, what you, would you say would inform a client's company strategies at the most critical period in human history, as we have it right now? You know, when you say human history now, I mean how. Because strategy is always independent by saying, hey, who do you want to read? Mm. And the consumer will always read the bedrock. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So how would you then assess, uh, what do you think should inform the client's company strategies? What um, strategies do you think they should adopt? 
a situation like that? Yeah, I think the basic thing is what to understand the audience. And from my own experience, I don't think there's any brand that wants to go hold. And that's mm -hmm. why you have things like re, 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 re launching, re, re strategizing, retooling. You can't be aware of reinventing your brand. There's mm -hmm. nothing like dying brands. Mm -hmm. What you have are dying managers. It is only when the managers are bereaved of ideas, that is when the brand dies. So meaning you must constantly research to know what is that they are doing, what are they, what are they looking for, mm -hmm. what is the new norm. This audience, and you have youthful and vibrant audience who are always very active and alive. You need to be close to them. Mm -hmm. You need to find a way to engage them. You need to find a way to connect with them emotionally. Okay. Because that's the only way they can begin to see value in your offering. And when they are paying for value, all of that becomes secondary because they just feel happy with you. And you ask them, why are you happy with this man? They just say, look, I just love it. That's because they've been able to connect mm -hmm. with them emotionally. And I think that's one area where most brands need to focus on right now. Get to that level where people just cannot explain why they love you. They just mm -hmm. love you for who you are because each time they breathe, they live, they smile, they relate with friends, they see you mm -hmm. in their midst. I think it's very key. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a hub art TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brand, advertising, media, PR, branding focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Technology and competence. The Corporate Affairs Commission (CAC) is fast changing the business environment through various reforms initiatives. Do you know that today you can register your business name, limited liability company, NGO, as well as other registration services online directly without an agent? Do you know that CAC certificate now comes with automatic FIRS T number? For these and more innovations, keep a date with us on CAC Weekly every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. on TVC News, Channel 418 on DSTV and Channel 307 on Star Times. Keep a date with us. The National Assembly is a busy place. As the bastion of democracy, it is a place where bills are presented, motions debated, laws made, and the yearnings of the people are laid bare. Come with us as we take you through the workings of the National Assembly. We take you through plenary, committee meetings, and probes, all to ensure smooth working of the democratic process. TVC Communications, Nigeria's leading independent broadcast company, has been officially designated as a great place to work. Over the past three years, we have transformed our workplace into one which is respectful, caring, rewarding, and provides great benefits to all our 500 employees. We thank our team for giving us the chance to show that partnership between employer and employee really works. TVC Communications, officially designated as a great place to work. And now, the only broadcasting and media company, not just in Nigeria, but throughout continental Africa, to be fully certified. TVC Communications, a great Nigerian company, a great Nigerian place to work. At TVC News, wherever the big news story is happening, we're geared up to break it. TVC News, first with breaking news. 